So hello guys. So I've been working on something that I think people might be interested. So basically I want to sort of a, like have a dock for my new 3DS. So kind of like the Nintendo Switch actually. So uh now the dock will basically have like a you know something for the headphone jack and I'm and um, I'm going to use like the headphone jack for the sound and to capture that and the video will be like uh, I'm going to actually use the NCR viewer and then output that to HDMI now it's actually working right now because uh, what you are seeing right now is running under Linux so this can be easily ported to the Raspberry Pi but the issue is that right now it's actually connected uh, directly to my internet router so the latency is not quite ideal so uh now ideally uh the 3ds should be like um connected to the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi should set up an open wi-fi uh, access point and maybe like uh filter the mac address so that only the 3ds uh, can connect to the uh, access point now uh as you can see it does work fine and i can actually use my ps4 controller to uh control the 3ds and i can even use the touchpad on my ps4 controller and use the touch screen so uh maybe let's try something like the Yu-Gi-Oh game there we go and you know the mouse that you're seeing right now i'm actually controlling it with the uh, ps4 touchpad and i can press on the yes button now the uh quality is a, a bit awful right now uh the, the jackpack compression set at 50 out of 100 Ideally, this should be set to 90, and I wouldn't go want to go below 80. But 80, even at 80, it, you can still see some uh, compression, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm um, I don't have like a lot of ideas to um, improve on that, sadly. And you know, well, I can decide to just press a uh, circle button for which maps to the A button, but I can also use the PS4 touchpad, and I can even press the home, uh, the PlayStation button, which is mapped to the home button, and I can just you know play something else. So you know, I have Yokai Watch in the cartridge slot, so I can decide to you know just play that instead. Now there are some games that, uh, for example, in the when you have to enter a name, it pops up the uh, the the system keyboard, and it, you cannot actually use the controller when that happens. So that's why I I have implemented support for the touch screen because even if a game uh only uses like the um the gamepad uh the system menu uh when you have to enter a name or something it only works with the touch the touch screen so that's why and uh you know it's mostly working well uh now the issue is that i still have to like set up a, a my raspberry pi and make sure like it's an access point and then put um my uh, piece of software on it and i also have to compile it not a big deal but you know and uh yeah that's pretty much shit uh now there is also the fact that i need to capture the audio from the uh a capture card or something i actually do have a usb uh microphone uh, 
thing that I can that I can use for that purpose. Uh, but uh, you know, latency and syncing might be an issue. Well, I don't think that will be an issue in that case because it's pretty much a direct connection. But you know, uh, the goal will be basically like uh, you put like the 3ds on the dock. And uh, basically, you would get like audio and HDMI over the Raspberry Pi. Now the video would actually be sent over Wi-Fi, so it doesn't even actually need to be on the dock to receive a video out of it. So you can just take it from the dock, and it will still uh, work fine. Uh, now, of course, if if you do take it from the dock then you won't be able to get audio. So uh, another idea that I had that like basically, so if you, if I take like the 3 from the dock and my piece of software does not detect like anything from the uh, microphone jack, then it will just shut up, shut up and just, uh, just uh, show us a screen basically telling the the user to put the 3ds back on the dock it, it wants to have like hdmi output or something so yeah that's an idea that i have right now but yeah that's pretty much it for now so thank you and bye